Hey guys, um, this is brand new rotors for our Mark 7 Golf R, which also fits uh, a Mark 7.5, an Audi mm, S3, probably TTS, all that, but it does specifically say Golf R 8 valve S3 uh, right front. So right front, this must be the passenger front side, meaning to me. So I don't know if you know about gyro discs, um, but they are um, two-piece OEM sized rotors. And I did some research. I know everyone has a little bit of different opinion, but these are supposed to act like big brake kits for your Golf R because the idea behind two-piece rotors is they're much lighter. So here we go. There they are. Beautiful. They're even slotted. And I know in the instructions it says Ugh, these are about 20 pounds. Here's the instructions. Oh, is that the instructions? Oh yeah, here we go. See, check this out, guys. See this rotational direction? It says to spin that way for cooling. I know other people make it the opposite way, thinking that the blades, like tilting inward is the way to go but this manufacturer along with eb what is it dba that i put on my wrx before they did the same thing so the cooling fins go this way so without further ado let me all right so i just pulled it out as you can see oh this is some i don't know what kind of anodized material this is but this is light and these are very, very strong bolts over here. The idea behind two pieces, it's getting rid of that thicker, solid center piece that is usually forged around or cast around to make the whole disc rotor. This one is specific, as you can see here. Let's spin this around. Even stamps at Golf R S3. And the millimeter thickness is 28. So this is what, 13, 30, almost 13 and a half inch rotor? Um, this is uh, over three pounds lighter than the factory rotors, and yet these are solid and they'll last a lot longer. I've already noticed after 25,000 miles on our Golf, um, this has dipped down more than a millimeter, like where the pad touches. This thing, you can feel the groove in the finger drop and then come back up here. Here's the fin action going on here. So it says rotational this way. This is the passenger right, so this is where it's supposed to cool going in this way so oh, it even has an inspection piece right here let's see what we got here gyro disc max run out 0. 0.0005 inspected 311 2019 by removing this tag from the product you refer that you have read and agreed to the general conditions install instructions it does say over here, like, of course, us shade tree mechanics that have done plenty of brake jobs, if this is OEM replacement, this should feel and install very easily. So, Can I give you let's see. So let me, yep. Yeah. So I'm just showing you the rotors here. Two-piece design. But the, those look like, um... And in the instructions, they already said that these are torqued to spec. Do not tighten them anymore. Um, these look like uh, hex. Hex screws in here. So that's what they are. I'm not sure what these are. Every other point added on there. This is very. This feels very smooth. This is rough finish. Um, in the instructions, it didn't say to spray this. Feels like I don't have to spray the coating, but it also tells you a bedding process that you need to do on these as well. So yeah, that's the look of that massive. I, I have a nine inch hand finger spread. That's nine inches from thumb to pinky. Pretty close. It's om almost dead on. But yeah. You can see the quality of the dips. People always talk about like, you can tell the quality ones, they don't just drill in and pick up. They drill in and drill all the way through the tip cleanly. And that has been done. This is a high quality rotor. 
So having these uh, lighter uh, weight uh, rotors basically means losing rotational unsprung weight, which, you know, a pound could equal to, you know, several pounds of sprung weight on the car. It's like removing an entire passenger seat. So, you know, you're losing like maybe close to like 20 or plus pounds off your car by losing three pounds off of per rotor. Um, we also plan to do the rear ones as well. These weren't cheap. They're, they, you know, they run about like eight, 850 for a pair. So don't, don't think they're a piece or 850 a pair. The rear are like about 800. They're a lot smaller, but then you also lose a lot of weight. We also plan on getting them for the RS3 too. And, and, and I think it's supposed to lose, I have to look it up again. So don't quote me. I think it's five to six pounds per rotor because the center is much bigger on that and it's near a 15 inch rotor or 14.6, whatever the size is. And you're gonna have a large center cap that they're gonna make a two piece out of. And this will help with stopping distance. This will help with handling because it's getting rid of uh, weight from the front anyways, and it'll, and it'll improve acceleration. You don't have to get those small little rotor kits for dragging. Just get some nice two pieces and still maintain your stopping distance. And it also, um, their theory is whatever I read on there, they were, they were saying that this also maintains the calibration of your stock OEM ABS system. Because if you put a big brake kit on your uh, OEM car, you know, there, there's some calibration that could or needed be done besides just slapping it on, you know? So that eliminates that issue. Get, you get a nice aftermarket, a stronger rotor that will last a lot longer because guess what, guys? I, I, I tried to ask the, um, you know, the local Midas or something if they could uh, re, um, resurface our rotors and they touched the material and they said, this is off of a Volkswagen, right? And I go, yep. They said, the material's too soft. You cannot refinish them. So basically when they're ruined or they're done with, you have to rotate them anyways. Or I mean, you have to throw them out and buy new ones. So we're gonna buy ones that basically will stand the test of time a lot stronger and improve the, uh, um, the overall characteristic of the car's uh, performance. And there we go. Oh, on top of that, this is a little bonus thing. I didn't wanna do a whole video on it, but I got 034's uh, stainless steel brake lines too. So there's your stainless steel brake line kit. It says S3, but um, they, um, they uh, you know, include that as the Golf R as well because the, I've confirmed with them or they wouldn't have sent this to me. <laughs> but anyways, that's what we're changing. We're also going with um, high performance pads and changing out to uh, mo module uh, racing brake fluid as well. So that would be like a big brake kit upgrade doing these. It's going to be fantastic. Thanks for watching.